I don't think I hit home yesterday how freaking excited I am to have my car back. Bitch! Last night, I had the worst time imaginable trying to go to sleep. Like, I laid down to go to sleep at 11 p.m. And I didn't actually fall asleep until almost 5 in the morning. Look at these bags. And then I woke up at 10 a.m. So I slept maybe five hours. So we're on our way to the gym. We were supposed to do a long run, which was like three miles or something like that, and then also swim for two hours. But instead, I gave Alan the idea to just swim. So that's what we're gonna do. And then, anyway, and then, um, so we're gonna do the swimming. And then I have to stop at Starbucks to upload my video from yesterday, which, You'll see today, well, it'll be yesterday when this gets uploaded. I, I don't know how it works. Anyway, so we're going to stop at Starbucks. I'm going to get my vanilla latte, try and get woke up. And then I'm going to come back and maybe take a nap, maybe not. And then I'm going to charge my phone. We have to stop by the alcohol place because I have to get some Four Locos. Four Locos, right, Alan? Four, Four Locos. Locos. And then we have to drive, like an hour for, to our friend's house because we're gonna hang out there tonight um i don't know what else is gonna happen or if anything super exciting is gonna come up but that's the plan right now we went to the y and then we drove away <laughs> we didn't go to the y it looked really busy and it's already like 3 p.m we well like alan was like sleeping until two or something like that so we left the house really late and like everybody was being really loud and it's just it wasn't happening today it'll happen tomorrow maybe if we're not too like dead and if not then it'll definitely happen on monday so be proud of us there um we're about to go into starbucks i'm about to get my uh vanilla latte with almond milk instead of regular milk i'm so happy i've i just recently switched up my drink before that it was the white uh chocolate mocha and then before that it was like the iced caramel macchiato i really liked iced drinks so i'm excited and then right over there is like the alcohol store so we can hit that up before we go home and then we're gonna go home and blast some tunes i'm gonna lay down and I probably won't see you until we leave for our friend's house. So my day ended up going a little bit different than planned. I didn't have my ID, so we couldn't go to the um, liquor store right after Starbucks. So we just went there. I ended up getting three, four Locos, which I'm going to try on video. And then two of these, like, Monaco things. And they said they each have two shots of vodka in it. And I love vodka, so that's good. Um... Yeah, I'll taste test it. I think Liz is coming tonight, so maybe I'll wait for her to get here to t taste test them. We'll see. I don't know. What up, dude? <laughs> it's the next morning, and I ended up, like, not filming any of that, like, stuff that I said I was going to do. I didn't, like, taste test the four logos or anything, um, and I didn't taste test the Monaco's, but I did taste them all except for one of the four logos. Um, the strawberry lemonade four logo was, like... It, I wouldn't recommend it really um it didn't taste like terrible but it also wasn't very good and I didn't end up finishing it they're like humongous I was like what this is too much um and then I tasted the peach one and I don't really like peach so it was like a loss from the beginning like that one wasn't fair um obviously I didn't think it tasted good and then I tried the citrus monaco and that one was my favorite of everything. It's, it tasted a lot like Red Bull, but, like, I couldn't taste the vodka in it. But other people said that it had, like, a vodka taste. I didn't taste it. Um, so it just tasted pretty good. And then the Blue Monaco, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's, like, Blue Crush. That one tasted a little bit like a uh, Hawaiian Punch to me. And I also didn't taste the vodka in that one, but everybody said it was, like, stronger in there um besides that we had some food uh luke made some really good uh shrimp alfredo and then there was some meat stuff there but i didn't try that um but everybody looked like it they thought it was good i don't know and then there was garlic bread and that was pretty good it was really really garlicky but it was good still i don't know <laughs> um 
And then we ended up playing this game that Liz got us for Christmas, and it was, like, it's called Hot Seat, and basically somebody reads a card, and then everybody, like, writes an answer what they think they would say, and then you all try and guess, like, what the person that read the card actually said. And that was pretty fun. Um, I don't know, last night it just kind of, like, made me sad for when I graduate because me and Alan are, like, moving, uh... I've been saying that I would, like, talk about it later, but basically, uh, me and Alan are moving to Pennsylvania slash Philadelphia area in June slash May. Um, I have a job lined up there for after graduation that starts on June 4th, and um, Alan doesn't have a job there yet, but he's moving out there with me. So we're going to be moving there after graduation at the end of May after Hangout Fest as well. And yeah, I don't know. Like we have Discord and we have video games for over the internet, but we're not going to be able to hang out with everybody in person anymore. And that's kind of sad. Um, last night was really fun and we were able to like pass around the phone and like do music and that kind of stuff. And I just had a good time talking to everybody and playing Kings and like all that. And we won't be able to do that, really, if we when we move to, like, Philadelphia. But it's okay. I guess that's just, like, part of, like, growing up and stuff, and that's okay. Um, we'll still see, like, everybody at, when we, like, come back for the holidays, or, like, they can come visit, obviously. Um, Pennsylvania is about, like, ten hours from Indiana, so, like, it's not a terrible drive, but it's kind of bad, um, but I'm sure they can, like, take long weekends or something, or, like, during school breaks and stuff like that to come see us. Me and Alan are the only ones out of our friend group that are, like, actually graduating on time because we never really changed our majors or anything, and everybody else has changed it multiple times. Or taking a break from school or, like, decided to work or something. So, yeah. Uh, I guess since it's technically the next day for vlogging, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now. And I'll see you guys later, I guess, today. <laughs> um, me and Alan don't really have much planned for today. It's just kind of a lazy day. So, I might even skip. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make, like, super boring videos where I'm just sitting around playing video games because those are really boring. And we might even just, like, watch a show. I don't know. We'll probably end up going to the gym because I don't feel tired or anything at all. Um, yeah, we slept and everything pretty well. And I don't know. We probably won't do anything except go to the gym and then probably Starbucks so that I can upload this video. Um, but that's it. See you guys later today. Bye!